Hey guys, Jules here from Behind the Court for another episode of What's in Your Glass Weekend Wine. I can't believe it took me, is it 34, 33 episodes to finally talk about Riesling. Uh, living in Canada, living in Ontario, uh, how can we not talk about Riesling from the Niagara region? Um, so what is there to know again? Follow the grapes. Uh, Riesling is a grape variety that loves cooler climates. Uh, the grape variety originated from the Rhine River Valley in Germany. Uh, it is best produced in Moselle Valley in Germany and Alsace, France. Um, the variety was brought to Canada in 1976. Okay, so it, it's and why is that important is that some of the vineyards uh, in the Niagara region have been producing spectacular Riesling since then. I have a great example today for this weekend. Uh, please do not uh, 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 miss the opportunity to taste the wine. I'm gonna get right into it, but I wanna continue talking about the Riesling. So again, cooler climate, uh, you'll typically have is high acidity. Uh, it ranges from lime to stone fruit, so nectarine and apricot, uh, depending on where it's grown, where it's produced. The styles can range from dry to off dry. In the Niagara region, they use Riesling to produce ice wine. It's spectacular. I'm sure many of you have tried it, uh, but it's not only known for its ice wine. Riesling is a very uh, delicious, is really the, the description I can say for Rieslings because um, I love wines that are slightly off dry, which means a little hint of sweetness, uh, not overwhelming. For me, ice wine can be overwhelming. Uh, Rieslings provide that beautiful semi-sweet or off dry backbone, the minerality, uh, the acidity, uh, and just refreshing. It is probably my favorite summer go-to wine you want to serve this chill 10 to 12 degrees celsius uh and, and you really can't go wrong so if you love uh good acidity lime and apricot stone honey uh to honey dew type uh, flavors then rieslings uh, is your is uh, is the choice you need to go to niagara region is producing spectacular obviously like i said in germany and alsace uh, many other countries are producing Rieslings. Uh, you'll typically find them in the cooler climates or in the higher altitudes. Um, so let's get right into it. I want to really showcase uh, this vineyard here. So uh, I, I went to it a few months back. Just spectacular vineyard. Uh, Vineland Estates produces uh, elevation from their St. Urban uh, uh, Riesling, basically their, their, their plot. And again, this is approaching 40 year old vines and in winemaking, uh, the terroir and the vine speak uh, tremendously when it comes to producing quality wine. And, and, and this is a sure example of Rieslings that was planted in 1979 uh, and still being produced fantastically today. Uh, 1995 Canadian again it, it's just spectacular uh, and, and really you can't go wrong uh, hopefully you guys can find this uh, the alternate uh, Rieslings I prefer as well is Cave Springs uh, Rieslings another great choice if you can't find uh, the um, the Vineland Estates version but this is should be readily available in most of most uh, local liquor store. So uh, let's get right into it. So at first glance, it's pale straw. And the uh, you know, one thing also with Rieslings and how you can quickly determine that it is a Riesling if you do blind tasting is that it's got the petrol uh, f uh, flavors, right? So you'll know right away. Anybody that uh, tastes wine regularly will know when it's a Riesling because of the characteristics of the petrol minerality and, and the, the, the the, the scent and the flavors, right? So yeah, let's get right into it. So just, I mean, as described, uh, you're going to get a lime, uh, and, and I wanna say really it goes right into honeydew and, and, and apricot. Um, it's not overwhelming, the sweetness is not overwhelming. Uh, the acidity is great. 
It's just pleasant, it's beautiful. My mouth is still watering here 10 seconds after, which is really, really nice because you continue to get the flavors uh, of the honey and of the apricots. Uh, and if you could just think of a gorgeous summer day in August, just chewing on a beautiful ripe apricot uh, and, and, and you know having some kind of lime drink, that's really what you're going to get here. This is beautiful. So uh, what to expect is, is, is really, I mean, this is, a, again, summer drink, just beautiful. You can't go wrong. Uh, it's, it's really, again, the... As it's, you know, you want to serve it cold, as mentioned, you'll get the benefits from and you'll really get the true flavors here. Minerality is, is very, very present um, and lime, lemon. Uh, but I just love that backbone of honey that's coming across here. That's really, really nice. Yeah, and and then the uh, so the sweetness again, we talk about sweetness because some people, you know, after a while, after a few glasses of a sweeter uh, type wine, you know, even myself kind of, you get fed up of it. Uh, this is nice. It's not overpowering. It's not, it's far from a nice wine, definitely. Uh, I would say it's an off dry, but very, you know, not uh, overwhelming. Uh, so, and it's not completely dry either. Uh, so you're really capturing both, you know, the, the, the true characteristics, I would say, in the Riesling here. And it's very, very nice. Uh, so hopefully you guys find that um, in terms of uh, uh, food pairing, uh, you know, you, you're going to get the high acidity. You're going to get the uh, off drying sweetness. This is a classic wine for Asian dishes. Anything that is spicy Thai or, or is Riesling is the way to go. I don't think there's any other wine that I would pair with uh with spicy thai dishes because it's you're gonna you're gonna offset the spicy the spice from the dish with the off dry and the flavors and the peach and the lime and obviously when you, t you talk about asian dishes and a lot of them you know you have that lime you have that spicy flavor you have that acidity uh it's gonna balance very very well with uh with the riesling so uh what i would typically choose is and you usually find mm -hmm. it in the back of the bottle is written off dry uh, if you can't find any indication of that, then just maybe look it up and, and it'll tell you whether it's a dry or off dry wine. You really want to know uh, before you pick up the Rieslings because they're, they're, they're a little different and you want to try both. You want to try dry Rieslings because dry Rieslings will have a very pronounced acidity, very pronounced petrol flavors, very pronounced lime uh, and none of the sweetness. Whereas the off dry and the semi-sweet, you'll have that same flavor, but really your palate is going to be softened by that sweetness. So uh, dramatically, uh, dramatically different uh, flavors, especially when you're pairing it with a dish, you want to have that off dry so that the spice gets uh, balanced uh, with the sweetness of the wine and, and just makes that marriage uh, really, really wonderful. So uh, hopefully you guys like that uh, this week. Uh, again, uh, Vineland Estates, winery in Niagara on the Lake, if, uh, if you guys are from Canada region or even the U.S. And if you guys make yourself, uh, make, out, make it out to Niagara on the Lake, I recommend uh, going for lunch at this winery. They have a beautiful, spectacular terrace overlooking their, wine, their vineyard uh, and down the escarpment. Uh, you can see Lake Ontario in the far uh and and it's really the valley going down it is just beautiful they have this amazing wood terrace and, and open up the glass uh dividers from the dining room and it's just a beautiful uh, vineyard all together and the food is is really spectacular so it, it's it's high end and flavors and, and presentation it, it, i was completely impressed so hopefully you guys get a chance to get down there but that's about it so hopefully you guys like the uh, choice for this weekend uh rieslings if not uh if you can't find this then just try you know a lot from germany a lot from alsace you want to start there and then move to other countries and see uh, the differences and regions differences in new world old world rieslings uh, but uh honestly uh niagara rieslings is something you want to put up there as likely your third option after the Alsace in, in the Germany uh, Moselle Valley Riesling. So uh, hopefully you guys like that. Uh, Jules here from Behind the Coracle. Hopefully you guys enjoy uh, this weekend. Uh, let me know what you think. If you like this video, uh, there's plenty more that I brought to you guys. So uh, let me know what you think. Follow if you like. Uh, that's it. Until next time, Jules here from Behind the Cork. Cheers.